This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. What is going on guys? So guess what? We are back again on this train unit. It is the same one that I replaced the evaporator coil on and now I get to replace the heat exchanger because the little spirals that go inside the heat exchanger to get it to turbulate, they were bad and was causing direct impingement on the metal and the heat exchanger's garbage. So hopefully we don't have to yank the top off, but we're gonna try to find out how we gotta get this out because I haven't done this particular model. I did the older Voyagers and those were kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so the first thing I did was turn the power off, which is going to cause the fire alarm to sound a warning because the people that wired up the smoke alarm wired it up so it's powered off the unit and not off the of alarm panel. I told them what was going on before I started. Here's those junk spiral deals that went bad and caused the impingement. This was being taken care of by another company prior to us, and this was my first winter uh, working on it. This was the first time we got to check the heat exchanger, so I would have figured they were paying people to maintain it that they would have checked the heat exchanger, but obviously they weren't because the size holes that you're going to see in here didn't just happen. So right there's the new heat exchanger. I don't know if they got one that's actually got some stainless steel in it, but it looks like it actually is not the traditional junk galvanized, but I could be wrong. I mean, it seems like it might have a little more stainless in it, but it could be wrong, but it's already got the little spirals in there. We'll uh, get that installed. I'm hoping that it pulls right out. I'm going to run my little heater here. I uh, usually use this in my garage, but it's uh, 35 to 55,000 BTU. It kind of bounces the heat off so your face isn't like completely icicled. It's not horrible out here, but it's just when you're going to be out here for you know, a couple hours. It'll make it a little bit better. So we broke that use loose and we've got this loosened up here. Got to yank out these wires. We already marked them on the gas valve. Might not be that bad at all. I bought, got new igniters and burners and all that. Funky looking weird thing. Look at that. I think I'll even hardly match up. Got the draft motor out, put the extension on there. That allows to get back in here to this tight screw here in the back. So I went and grabbed my longer extension here. Makes it a lot easier to get in there nice and tight uh, spots like that. So we can pull it, go ahead and pull that out. Got a rollout switch here we got to unhook. And then uh, finish taking out a few more around the corner. Hopefully this thing pulls right out, but I bet you it won't. We'll see. So we got the burners undone here. You can see they made them out of some nice shiny stuff that won't corrode but that part there is not the greatest. Some of these look worse than others. Went ahead and just ordered new ones. You can see the new one looks like that there. So we'll go ahead and get those swapped out. We'll put the igniters and stuff in right before we slide it in because I don't want to get them broke or anything like that. Uh, that one limit thing came right out and just got a few more of the screws. My hope is to be able to shove this back in there or worst case scenario, move it off the side and pull that thing out. Not overly impressed with this design. They uh, just etched out a corner so they could save a couple screws. And then if you don't have it perfectly aligned, you gotta fiddle fart around with stupidity here. Just something more to complain about. All right, so that's ready to go when it's time for it. Like I said, these here, they got the screw from the other side. That won't be real bad on this one. I went ahead and took some more screws out here on the side. A few more on that side. So I'm gonna try to get this out. I went ahead and yanked the insulation out of top. Got it saved over there. We can glue it back in. Some of this is gonna get destroyed. It's called collateral damage. That's not gonna give me a whole lot of extra there, but at least lets me know where things are at. All right, so we got it loosened up. Kind of shove it in. Hopefully we can kind of get to the screws that are going to be lining up with that right there. Just like Scooby-Doo, you just got to push the secret button and it goes right in there and I didn't tear anything up. That allows us to... Heat exchanger feels loose in there. So if we can just get it broke loose down here, it's coming out. I don't care if it comes out with a torch, it's coming out. We'll uh, 
Take those out. Yeah, you wait till you see this heat exchanger. It's just absolutely crazy. I think we're screwed down on the bottom. If we are, that's, I'll pry that sucker up if we have to. Went ahead and just unhooked some of the wires, marked blue to blue, so I know where it's going there. Unhooked the flame sensor. We're gonna have to pull these wires back through like I figured. Protects the wires as it goes through the thing, uh, through the metal. Everything was loose up here, but there was one little screw that was stuck right there, which we popped it off, and it is starting to pull out now. Looks like they at least made the line set here high enough that it should pull underneath. There we go. Right there is probably one of the most useful tools, guys. 5 16 quarter inch, you guys. One way ratcheting so you don't have the little button to break off. So I kind of like that better. Got it down in the links down below. There's, there's, there's multiple links down there. The one that says my main tool bag will take you to the Amazon links with everything in it. But some people say they have problems. So I just put individual links down there too. But if you want to see everything, click on the my tool bag one and that'll take you to everything. You support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything more. If you want to, great. If you don't, whatever. If you know, if it's something you can get through True Tech Tools, get it through True Tech Tools. Just use uh, my link to get to them. That way I get some sort of credit for at least advertising for them, but that's how you can support the channel. So the previous company was supposedly servicing this. Yeah, this didn't just happen like in a day or two. That didn't just start to happen. You can see the other ones down there in the bottom. That's uh, there's little turbulators in there spiraled it direct impingement right on the metal sad is as you could see it right from the freaking front might as well as not even had any service on this thing because i mean they caught nothing on that and the leak and stuff they never found the leak i mean basically they didn't do much of anything that's why we're changing it pretty obvious to me all i did is run my camera down there and uh seen it plain as day i mean you, you when you looked at it you could see the turbulators or broke and you knew that wasn't going to work so you can see i got snagged on the way out ain't much you can do about that you've got to get that piece of metal right there heat exchanger up on top of that try to put some silver tape on that and then when we get it in here we'll slide it on i don't know why they wouldn't put a piece of sheet metal down there that would protect this from getting tore up and uh make it easier we got a little bit of our uh Silver tape on there, we're all resecured. Yeah, they got the metal things right there. That's what's digging into stuff. Look at that. They don't they don't trust it's gonna hold itself. So instead of putting some heavy metal clips on there, they put this lightweight stuff on there to hold it. That way it can get caught and rip things on the way through. What I ended up doing is flattening out that bend piece so it doesn't snag it on the way through. And we should be able to get it in there and slide it into place, hopefully. It's only so much you can do without ripping something. So what you have to do is press in on the bottom, lift it up, try to get that top screw in so that it holds the heat exchanger up off that silver down there. Got that repaired. Right now I'm trying to manhandle and get that screw in from this side why they didn't send those separately so they would potentially get broke so one of the tricks i'm figuring out this long freaking extension there you can actually get down in there and get the screw into the heat exchanger i've got two of these it is not easy uh, you're best off to shoot for the middle one then you can kind of rigmarole it same thing with this here. Well, I finally got the screws in there. The ones at the bottom are nearly impossible, but did get them. What I'm gonna do, get that insulated. Uh, they had a piece of wrapped around it. Make sure this is all tucked in while we can get to it nice and easy right now. And boom, like that, it's wrapped and ready to roll. So let's see if we can get this back into position. I know I brought it out through the bottom, but we'll see if we can bring it through the top. It does have insulation on that side of it, so that should seal it. Well, heater's kind of nice. See, it's 
you just gotta be like the factory and not care and just grab right a hold of that bad boy and just yank. We got our wires hooked back up there. Blue and blue. Roll out there. hooked up that's away from the draft motor shouldn't catch on fire gotta get these hooked up so i know the blue went right there the gray one there had two markings on it and that one there's pretty obvious because it's a small little spade terminal so you can't hardly do that one wrong so, yeah okay a couple more screws we can kick this turd on see if she makes some smoke <laughs> What I'm going to do is run this thing with this door off so we're sucking the fresh air in to help dilute any smell that that's going to put off. I've got the gas on, got to go inside, warn them, and let them know that that's going to possibly go off. So I went ahead and cut it apart. You can see how thin that is on the corners. But here's a look at what the other company missed. This didn't just happen in six months after they checked it. Now it's been going on for a while and they hadn't been looking, they ain't been checking it, and they completely ignored it. I mean, you could see the, the thing, like I said, the turbulators that were broke. That's something you guys got to make sure you're checking. Otherwise, you're going to have things like this happen, make you look bad. All right, you can smell the uh, oil and stuff, but uh, it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and turn that back down just a touch. It's a pretty good size building and stuff, so it didn't create too much of an issue. Let's go on back outside. Make sure everything's burning okay and what's surprising is this one here really not hasn't had that many problems refrigerant was fine like i said the little baffle thing was screwed up in there but she seems like she's running she a roaring oh yeah got to get that back in there delightful all right well coil ain't leaking that's a good thing not feeling any disturbances no real air leakage i don't see any we got that sealed back up there and uh i think we're good so by adding that extra fresh air from the outside i think i helped dilute it out because i could smell the, the familiar oil smell but yeah no problems though that's good you can see that blower. It's a beautiful one. All right, one last thing to do before we get blown away here. Get this loop back in here. And uh, get her back in there. All righty, it's all tucked up in there and back the way it should be. So we're good to go there. Go ahead and get this door on and drop the stat back down. 
All right, so we got the area all cleaned up, blew it all out. Everything's good to go. Everything's back to the way it was. That's for the people that don't know how to drive their lawnmower. They tend to cut corners and run over stuff. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it, you know what to do. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.